Uh, next, we're going to talk about new boosters. Uh, the fall booster is a bivalent vaccine, so it has uh, covers two variants, the original variant and Omicron BA5. Uh, it's now available at the health department. Uh, anyone who's fully vaccinated is eligible, but they must have had their last shot at least two months ago. And this is similar to what's done every year with the flu vaccine. Flu vaccine has three or four uh, variants usually, and it's changed every year uh, based on what's circulating. Uh, so uh, we're finally glad to see that it's approved. We have it in hand and we're able to offer it. Uh, and we're seeing uh, a little bit of an uptick in individuals coming by to get that uh, new booster now. Uh, well, I would encourage people, you know, there's no, it's, it's, that's up to their preference. You know, you may, uh, obviously early on, it was as soon as you could get it. Uh, you know, you also I would take into account that once you get the uh, booster, it takes two weeks before you get that full protection. So, you know, you don't want someone to get it. Uh, you don't want them to wait till the, the day before Thanksgiving and say, OK, I'm going to be around family. I better protect myself. So, uh, you know, I would encourage people September, October as we're heading into the fall. We know it's going to start getting chilly and we're going to be uh, and then a lot of uh, holidays and events that are going to be indoors and around a lot of people, ball games, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, lots of uh, activity. So I would encourage people, um, you know, you don't need to get it necessarily today. You might want to wait, but don't wait too long because um, we'll turn around and it'll be November 20th or whatever, and it's uh, you'll be going right into the holidays. No, I mean that we do know with any vaccine, whether it's flu vaccine, you know, it does wane over time. Uh, but you know, this is still, you know, we're the, the the place we're at now. We're so it's it's sort of a I won't say it's new because we've had vaccine now for almost two years. So I don't know if there's a real sweet spot because uh, right now I, I'm one of those individuals that I got my last booster. I haven't been eligible because I'm not over fifty. So. And I'm having those same discussions that, that I'm having. I'm, I'm asking myself that same question. Do I go right now, September the 8th, or maybe wait a little bit till October? I'm probably going to wait myself. I'm thinking maybe later this month or early October. But I think as a preference, I think it depends too. You know, maybe if you're getting ready to go to a conference in early October and there's going to be 800 people there. Or are you going to be, you know, there's some concerts or things like that that are coming up. You may want to just go ahead and get that protection. Uh, we have a, you know, a, a small number of vaccines. We've ordered more because, uh, you know, there's not uh, huge amounts that have been made available, but we have, uh, you know, enough at the moment. If we do run out, we'll obviously make that known to the public. Encourage people to, to make an appointment. There's a probably, it's probably a good chance if you walk up, you'll be able to get an appointment right then. But we're trying to encourage uh, people to make appointments just to be sure.